Hey, hello people. Uh, so today we'll solve this problem. Remove nth node from end of list from lead code. And uh, this is a medium difficulty problem. So in, in this problem, we are given a linked list and uh, we are given the head of the linked list. And what we got to do here is the remove the nth node uh, from the end. So in case, uh, for example, take this uh, uh, example given here. And here they have given this uh, linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we are asked to remove the second node from the end of the list. So this is the first node from the end and this is the second node. So we got to remove this one. And uh, finally, the linked list will become 1, 2, 3 and 5 since we have removed that uh, second element from the last. So uh, to deal with this problem, uh, what we can do is have two pointers. And uh, do know that uh, we need to do this problem in uh, one pass. Yeah. So uh, we need to uh, just have the linked list uh, once and uh, we can easily do that for that uh, the approach we'll be using here is that uh, we'll have two pointers one pointer uh, uh, two pointers are, are, are eventually going to start from the given head head node so we are we are going to have two pointers starting from the head node uh, which in this case is one and uh, we'll have one uh, fast pointer and the other uh, let's call it the slow pointer and uh, the fast pointer what we are going to do is uh, make it move n plus one steps uh, farther than the slow pointer uh, n plus and n here is the number of the uh, node that we need to remove from the end so in this case n is given 2 so what we have to do is have the fast node move 3 places uh, ahead of the slow node so why we are doing that is that because you know if uh, uh, if the fast node is 3 places beyond the, or actually uh, faster than the slow node and by the by the time the fast node reaches the end of the list uh, that is beyond this five uh, there's a null pointer after this uh, there's a null pointer right so uh, uh, when the fast node reaches that null pointer uh, our slow node will be uh, exactly at this uh, node uh, which we want to be removed before that node uh, that is, uh, is, is since we want to remove this fourth node right here our slow pointer will be at the position 3 and uh, given that we are at position 3 we can easily remove this node uh, by simply uh, you know connecting this node to the uh, next of the uh, next node so that's what we are going to do and uh, there's one special case that we need to handle here of uh, while using this approach and that is that in case we are asked to remove the second node from the beginning that is uh, if we were asked to remove this uh, number two node which is actually the fourth node from the end so in in this case in case uh, this n was four um, our fast pointer would be like you know five places beyond the slow pointer right because we are moving n plus one places uh, faster than the slow pointer we are moving the fast pointer n plus one places faster than the slow pointer so in that case uh, since our fast pointer is n plus one that is four plus one which is five places beyond the slow node uh, when slow node is at the first initial place itself a fast node would have reached the end of the list because if this is one the two three four and five so a fast node will be actually at the null pointer even before a slow node slow pointer has started to traverse the list so that's one special case and in that case we can simply return the next node uh, that's right next to the head node so that's gonna give us you know uh, the result and so we can simply return the uh, node that is directly connected to, connected to the head node so that's the approach and uh, let's start with the code as I said, uh, let's uh, start by having two pointers, the fast node and the slow node. Sorry, fast pointer and the slow pointer. So we are initializing both the pointers to the head node. And now we need to move the fast pointer and place one places uh, uh, farther than the slow node. For that, uh, we'll use a for loop. and uh, as i said earlier we need to have a check for that special case uh, where our fast pointer would have moved uh, to the very end of the list and be located at a null pointer so we'll first handle that case and uh, so in this case we can simply return the you know the second node from the list since uh, as i said uh, because uh, the first this is if the fast pointer had reached the end of the list it just means that they are asking us the second element from the first So after doing this, uh, we can simply move our fast node and as for our fast pointer as well as our slow pointer one node at a time uh, till our fast pointer reaches the end of the linked list that is a null pointer 
and uh, then we can simply you know um, map our uh, next pointer to the element that is right next to the uh, next element so uh, we will we'll have a slow pointer at this uh, position and we can just simply map it to the next position next nodes next uh, node and uh, oh we shouldn't have this equal to over here uh, we just need to move it n plus one places uh, faster than the slow node slow pointer so that's the code and uh, this should work fine okay good so that's all for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one